um, the next call. If you want to hang out, you know what I'm saying? I'll come back to you in a minute, but I got two other callers on the line. All right. You could uh, right. mute that line and then we'll come back to him. Uh, 510712. This is Cross Line Radio. State your name. Where you calling from? Shalom. Y'all watching me. Y'all about to You should break. Uh, who's this? This is DK calling from the Bay Area. From the Bay, man. What's going down? You got a question or a comment? Yeah, I just uh, I just wanted to break down on the uh, on the scripture on the uh, on Matthew fifteen and eleven. Matthew fifteen and what? Matthew fifteen and eleven. Fifteen and eleven. Let's go there. Yeah, for sure. No sweat. This is a very polite man right here. He know manners. So now it says. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of a mouth defileth a man. This, this is uh, the Chris, Christian. What Christian you talk to that wants to eat pork? Every one of them I talk to want to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and frog legs. Roll up. That's the new one. Frog legs. Fro oh man! Oh, you know, you know why? Because of social media, they getting they getting fancy. Go up. Yeah, oh, I get it. Scroll up a little further. Scroll up a little further. All right. Um, I'm going to start at verse one so we can get the context. All right. So this is uh, Matthew's 15 and one. It says, then came to Yahweh scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, why do the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. What is this battle about? Washing your hands. Washing your hands before you what? Eat some food. Before you eat. What were they eating? They were eating. I think they were eating. Wasn't they eating corn? It says right here. It says when they eat bread. Bread. It's lucky. All right. So the, so the first thing you got to understand is what the context is. This ain't about pork. This ain't about swine. This ain't about catfish. This ain't about escargot or, or frog legs. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So what we're seeing here is that now here's something else too. Tradition of the elders. Is that the law of Moses? Uh, no. You know, you know, it's a tradition of my elders that troopers wear all black. It's not in the law for you to wear all black. That's our tradition that we keep. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Like, I don't have my sunglasses on tonight, but if you ever seen me uh, uh, all the way on up to Commander General Yohanna, General Mahayman on down wearing sunglasses indoors or at night, that's a tradition that we got from our elders. That's not law. You don't have to wear sunglasses indoors or at night or whatever the case may be. That's our tradition. You with me? Right, I'm with you. So now let's read the next verse and find out what the battle is. Give me uh, verse three. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also trans transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? So now, what what outranks more, the commandments of God or the tradition of men? The commandments of God. A commandment of God is anything that God ordered us to do or not do, correct? Correct. In Leviticus, the 11th chapter, did he command us to eat pork or not eat pork? Not eat. Which means if you eat pork, you're not following God's tradition. You're breaking God's commandment for a tradition you learned from a man, correct? Correct. So now let's keep reading. Go ahead. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. You understand? And this is for this is for Christians that think God was all love. You understand? It, Christ just said, if you dishonor your father and mother, what's supposed to happen to you? Let him die the death. Die. Ain't that what it said? Die. Because Christ is saying, obey the law. And if you break the law, what should happen to you? Die. Let's keep reading. Go ahead. But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. Keep reading. And honor not his father or his mother. He shall be free. Finish it. 
thus thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Because it's not a gift onto your mother and father. It's a law onto them. You owe your mother and father. You ain't doing them a favor. You owe them because they took care of you when you took you couldn't take care of yourself. So what should you do when you're older? Take care of them when they don't, when they can't take care of themselves. Honor your mother and father. And if not, you break the law. So Christ is talking about keeping the law and not breaking it, correct? Yeah. Bring me back. Re now read verse 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, Get. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So he's still talking about people that think they worship God, think they serve God, but really they don't. Go ahead. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Meaning, what's more important, the commandments of God or the commandments of men? Commandments of God. Keep reading. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. Hear and Not understand. That... Understand this. You understand? Read it again. And he called, and, and he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man. Oh, now, but what, what, that, what was going into the disciples' mouth at this time? Pause. I shouldn't say that after the scripture. Uh, Forgive me. Traditions of men. What, what, but they were eating bread, right? And what was dirty to right. them was they, they didn't wash their hands. The battle wasn't right. about clean or unclean food. The battle was if you washed your hands or not. So he's right. saying if they wash their hands or not, that's not what's going to defile them. Let me tell you what really defiles you. Go ahead. But that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. You know what comes out of a mouth? False doctrine. Lies, deceit, deception, hypocrisy. That's going to defile you. Keeping the traditions of men over God's laws will defile you. But this is what I know. The Most High said, don't eat pork. You eat pork and you're going and you telling someone they can eat pork. You're defiling yourself. Because what's coming out of your mouth is break the commandment of God. What's coming out of your mouth is defy the laws of God and your actions is keeping the traditions of men. You understand? Uh -huh. Sometimes you got to just read up a couple of verses that'll give you the whole context, all right?